sheep. Here to me, sheep. Here. Hi there. Merry Christmas and welcome to our Christmas episode. So today we're going to be talking about things that are real and things that are not real. So our first question is, is St. Nicholas real? Hmm. There was a very rich man who lived a long, long time ago during the fourth century. And Cammie's going to be my helper today. So this is way, way, way before your grandpa was born, okay? This man was a bishop in his church. And bishops wore robes of different colors. Sometimes they were blue and sometimes they were green. But this bishop, Saint Nicholas was his name. He loved to wear red, that was his favorite. He was known for his kindness and his love of giving gifts, especially to those who were in need. There are many stories that were told about this man, but we don't know which one was real and which ones are not real. So this was an illustration of the original Saint Nicholas. Then we're gonna fast forward to the days of your great, 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 great grandpa. And in 1863, there was a popular, popular magazine that published an illustration of Saint Nick drawn by an artist named Thomas Nast. He was shown as a great big elf right here who was handing out supplies and gifts to the like newspapers and stuff to the men who were in the military. Oops, Cammy, get back in the picture. So, oops, zoom in a little bit so you can see what's going on. But anyways, over the next 20 years, this illustration continued to gain popularity and creative inspiration. And Santa grew fatter and jollier as well. This is when Santa really started to become the Santa that we recognize today on the cards and at parties and standing on the corner in the big cities, ringing sil silver bells and shooting across the television screens in our homes. And I just really like the traditional Santa. Look who I have here, huh? Hello! Whoa! Okay, so first of all, I want to make sure that we recognize that there are some things that are real and some things that are not real. And so, no matter how big he is or how little he is or how fat, oh my goodness, <laughs> there's some things that are this absolutely... This is real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there are some things that are absolutely real about this Santa. This Santa has a real name, and it is... Hi, my name is Brian Johnson. Yes, how about that? And these are his real whiskers. <laughs> and then, um, so when you're playing your part, do you go... what? There, Santa Claus has many names. So which one do you go by? I like Santa Claus. You do? Santa. So yes. there's Saint Nick and there's Santa Claus and there's, let's see, what was another one? The big guy. Okay. <laughs> right? Oh, Father Time or Father Chris Kringle. Christmas. Chris Kringle, that's the yes. one. I was trying to think of that and I couldn't think of it. But anyways. I go by any of those. Okay. Okay. And who, how long have you been playing this character? It's been about four years. Four years? Yes. Oh, Sam, Cammy is smelling it. He's making sure it's good. Am I okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you've been doing this about four years? Yes. Okay. And is there anything that you normally like to say when you are spending time with boys and girls? I like to learn about them. I want to know, are you, is it just you? Do you have a brother or a sister? And you have little brothers and sisters, and do you take good care of each other? 
and do you love each other? Oh, and I love that. Do you watch out for them? Very good, very good, excellent. And um, we have one more question, mm -hmm. and the question is: Do you have magical reindeer, or maybe magical sheep? Hmm? Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> I do have magical reindeer. Oh my goodness. And they do fly. What? And I have magical bags to put Christmas gifts in for Christmas Eve. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> so do you think he's telling the truth? Or is this part of his character? Mm, mm. You better think about it. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> we know that neither Kris Kringle nor Santa Claus is real. We know he does not give gifts to all the children around the whole world in one night. That would be so silly if that were true. It's not true, but this is true. Like Martin Luther, we can use the inspiration of this season to give grand outpourings of love to everybody that we know and love and especially those in our family. For God gave us the greatest gift in his son, Jesus. Jesus was the gift that was sent down from God. And he is the one that is celebrated this season. In this season, we can celebrate the love and the joy and the peace and the long suffering that he gives us as gifts, but he gives us those gifts as we receive the first gift, which was his son, Jesus. Will you accept this gift, boys and girls? The gift of his son, Jesus. It's free. You must repent of your sins and you must tell Jesus that he is the Lord of your life and that you will receive him. Let heaven and nature sing. The Lord has come. Merry Christmas. <laughs>